Aerial photographs made on 13th January as tanks and infantry of the 6th Armored Division participate in the routing of Nazis from Belgian territory west of the Luxembourg border. By 25th January, the 6th Armored is to reach a point two miles from the German frontier and 13 miles east of Ufeliz. Ufeliz itself is captured on 16th January. About 500 yards from the town, two patrols meet. It's a junction between patrols of the 1st and 3rd Armies, who have been moving toward each other from the north and south since January. Kaiser Von Grauer, I'm happy to report that my microphone, ba-boom, ba-bing, is working. How's everybody doing today? Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Appreciate it. Hello to all yous across the land. Let us play some Battlefield. How's it going, Kronos, Nalisa, Skitch, Shytown's out there. Right on, Shytown. Purple Suede, Tombstone, Crack Hours out there. Look at you guys. Scuzz. Scuzz, how you doing, man? Oh, man, I tell you. Let's see what we got up here tonight. Here we go. Let's play some Battlefield. Dun, 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 dun. I am doing all right, Scuzz. I am doing all right. You know, there's a weird thing. I have this desk... And, uh, ever since I got this computer, I've been using this mouse pad. And, uh, I was just like, I wonder what it's like without the mouse pad. So I just went, <laughs> and it is so slick. So I played on it for a little while today, but I only used, um, or I was only uh, just in combined arms. I was dicking around with some other settings, too. And uh, I don't know. Maybe you need to have a little bit of grip. Uh, well, yeah, you know. <laughs> Look, right now, what they're doing is they're building the marketing hype to a crescendo. They got us interested. They're like, yes. And then they, you know, they... They pumped it up. And now... We haven't heard any bad news yet. They're gonna have to start doing that. They're gonna have to start saying... But we're not gonna have this, or this won't be there, or blah 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 so that they can build it back up as we get closer. So, you know, you have a shit sandwich, right? <laughs> that's that's the shit, shit sandwich theory of marketing right there. Play, multiplayer, advanced surge. 
Full filter. Fully croisoned. Sorted by ping and refreshed for extra refresh for fire fair spear fair spear fair spears. Oh man, hmm. what in the hell? Wow, there's a lot of West Coast servers up tonight though. But there's not good selection right now. There's two aerodromes up there. Okay, uh, so who do we got out there? Nalisa? Nalisa, you check out 874. I'm gonna go to 422, okay? Let's see how many tickets. <laughs> I'm in a queue. I'm on 422. Nalisa, you check out 874. About this. You can coordinate on it. Look at that. Dan Gleesack. Oh, right on, dude. Thanks, man. You're probably right. <laughs> probably right. Crazy, man. Ugh. Deep thoughts. In the queue. Kaiser Von Grauer. Uh. 874 Aerodrome, 342, 294. Okay, I'm still in a queue of one. So, I would say, join in on that one. And then, if this sucks, or if this is like, depending on where this is, if this has got less, then join on me. If yours has less, I'll join on you. One cheater. Okay, there's only one cheater on that server. That's good. That's good. <laughs> they love that map. Is, are they in a tank? They might not be cheating if they're in a tank. Game is full. 10-4. 10-4. there any big old clan stacks over there? See, I got Nalisa on that other server. You guys can you can see it in the chat there. He's checking out. Uh, oh, okay, I'm getting in. So now I'll know we know the tick account of another aerodrome. And then we know that there's one cheater, likely cheater in there. Let's see what this one's like. Are there clan stacks? Oh, oh. Oh, 754 to 753. <coughs> oh, no. <coughs> Excuse me. No, I'm getting out of here. Is this a customs? Let's see. Game info. Nope. All right. I'm going to join on the Lisa. Oh, join squad. Here we go. She is in a better. Yes. She. Oh. Oh boy. Now what do I have to do? I have to go out, right? And how that works? Let's see. The server is full. I remember that. <coughs> Excuse me. I got salt down the wrong pipe. Oh, you know what I can do? Can I leave the squad? Like I can't. Join as spectator. Profile. How come I can't leave the squad? Oh, here we go. Oh my god, look at this. What the fuck is this? That makes no sense. We have lost objective Tesa. I'm gonna create a new squad. Oh, wait a second. What the fuck is going on? Did I? I'm back on my own server. This is the 700 to 710. I am so fucking confused right now. I can't even. This is 422. This is the one that I got onto. But I'm trying to join your squad. Join squad. Oh, it, it never took me out of the one that I was in. Holy shit. Okay, join game. You'll leave your current squad in game. Do you want to continue? Yes. Okay, it put me in the Lisa squad. And it's taken me out of that server. I think. Let's see what happens. Because it seemed like it dumped me back. Yeah, now I'm in a queue. Okay. 
I think this went better this time. Even though we landed out in the queue, this is better than what happened last time. Dan Gleesek, you do polls on whether or not you win a game so viewers can make channel points. Oh, look at this guy. Dan, you son of a gun, you. Oh my god. Nalisa. Oh, maybe we should have, uh, we should have, we should have Jack do this. We should have Abs do it. Hey, Jack. Is he out there? Maybe he's not out there. So admins can do admins can do polls. So they can bet on the polls and make probably fuck tons of Odin boins on it. Hey Jack, did you hear that? There's poll you can do a, like a poll where they can bet is Kaiser gonna win this round? And they can so can you figure out how to do that? Create poll or something like that? There's gotta be some way to do that. Let me see. As long as I'm sitting here in the queue. Wonder where I don't even know where I could do that. Let's see. If I do poll. Oh yeah, poll. Okay, that's what I want. Oh yeah. Yeah, so you do poll and then will Kaiser win or lose this round? Yeah. No. He will leave early. Um, channel points per vote. Uh, I think that's a mint. Oh, I don't know what this is. The maximum channel points per vote is 1 million. I don't know what that, I don't know what that means. One, ten thousand. Oh, well, let's try ten thousand. And the duration, we'll make it ten minutes. All right, here we go. We're gonna do a poll. I'm not gonna do this again, you guys. Um, Jack will probably be in charge of this. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what's gonna happen. I don't know if yeah. So will Kaiser win or lose this round? That ten thousand. I don't know if that's like the minimum bet, or if that's what you can win. Because I've never run this before. So you guys, good luck. <laughs> All right, I'm in Nalisa's squad. Here we go. Okay. All right. I'm gonna come in as sniper here with this. I was running this earlier today. I don't even know if this is a good idea. I I like assaulting so much more. As many as possible. Oh man. Why don't we just stick that there? Just in case. Objective has now been lost. Oh my god. Wow. <laughs> I got fucked on that one. Oh, I don't know if this is gonna last five minutes. I wonder if I can change that. Let's see. Yeah, no, he will leave early. <laughs> oh, let's see, it's 95 to 172. Looking like no. <laughs> oh, I wonder how this is gonna but it's gonna be a it's gonna it's a five minute poll, so this is gonna be kind of stupid this time. There we go. God damn. Be aware that we have lost objective Friedrich. Well, at least I hit somebody, you know? Uh oh. Oh my god, we have nowhere to go. <laughs> We're all the way back in our spawn. Is it channel points or Odin Boins? Oh, you're right. I can't do Odin Boins. Fuck. 
It's a different system. It doesn't do Odin Boins. Yeah. <laughs> Sketch, this is the last thing we need. Yeah, it, it allowed me to do something else. I think it was bits. You guys can put down... That can't be right. Let me see. Oh. Oh, no. Nothing happened there. Pole is already active. Oh. I can report my poll, but that's all I can do. <laughs> well. Yeah. Yeah, no, it could be fun. Well, the thing is, right now, we have this, um... Everybody's really into the Odin Boins right now. They love Odin Boins. Alright, so, we'll have to just mark the answer as no in, like, two and a half... Two and... Two minutes and 48 seconds or whatever. <laughs> this is... I don't know about this. It looks like we are up against a mighty clan stack. Ah, <laughs> oh, Jesus. Let's see, what do we got? Well, that looks okay. That does not look good. Oh, fuck me, man. Ugh. I don't know. No, we're getting the fuck out of here. Come on. Here. Continue, but we're going. <laughs> we are gonna con scoreboard. Yeah, come on, man. We're getting out of here. Are they really all still in there? No, they all left. No, no, there's a bunch. Yeah, they're still there. AKS, AKS. A bunch of them are leaving, though, but it looks like these guys are staying. All right, well. Christ, it's Iwo Jima. Shit. Here we go. Jai Town, I have not found a 3090 yet. And I'm not sure. I'm, I've recently, I've been talking myself out of it. And the reason for that is, um, is I have a 2080 T Ti in there right now. And that's what you're seeing right here. It has no problem with this and my understanding is that the 3090 and defend them from enemy attacks. is 25 percent beyond a 2080 ti and a 3080 ti is almost tied with a 3090 so i've been starting to think I like the idea of going, because it seems like what people are saying is, for gaming, you might as well go with the 3080 Ti right now. Or even a 2080 Ti. <laughs> but the prices are all out of whack, right? So everything's goofy. But the 3080 Ti for games seems like it's the way to go value-wise right now because the 3090 doesn't do that much more for gaming from what I understand you're gonna get better value so I'm like well huh you know oh 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 he's right on me Woof. No, Lisa, you should do the, uh, we'll do the bounty again tonight. But I'm not going to say what the bounty is. But it's a, at least, at least a hundred thousand per. Maybe more. No, we should do a hundred thousand. We should do a hundred thousand. We should do a hundred thousand. I think that's a good number.
Uh oh. Got him. Oh, he got me. God. That is crazy. That's crazy. Well, get back in. See what happens. We have control and objective Charlie. Yeah, we started out Chi Town, it was ten thousand, and then I bo I uh bumped it up. Boomped. I bumped it. Yay. I bumped it up. <laughs> to a hundred thousand per. Like a weirdo pirate. <laughs> We've lost our hold of objective five. Yar. <laughs> uh, that was the last round, by the way. Okay, so here, that's for the last round. I did not win. I think you can still vote. So I don't know. I guess you can't change your vote, but we'll get that out of there. And if Jack wants to do it again, just don't do it for so long. <laughs> oh, man. He'll figure it out. We now have control of objective dog. I don't know if that amount is for a pot or what. I have no idea. Oh, and it's channel points. That's right. Yeah, it's channel points. I'll have to see if there's a way we can do a poll on, uh, stream elements. Fuck. DB, I know, yeah. No, this is like, this is the only spot where it crosses over into another bot. All the gambling happens on one bot. The gambling. The for Odin Boins, that happens on the stream elements bot. But I totally forgot that this is a Twitch command thing, so that makes it more confusing for me, and I kind of don't want to do it. Well, good luck. Let's not do that. I'll I'll look into that more because this is all very confusing. Oh. Ooh, look at that thing. Oh, fly it like the devil. It's great. Here we go. No. <laughs> Chi Town Gamer contributed 260,000 channel points. Chi Town, what do you think that means? Uh oh, Skitch Hickok just farted and completely shit himself. Hey, Skitch. Man, you farted and completely shit yourself. Viewers have farted 24,049 times. Oh my goodness. D Farley, can you believe this guy? All right, Sketch, head out to the front yard, man. <laughs> Abandon ship. Abandon ship. All right, Sketch. Grab the hose! Woo! Oh, my goodness, Sketch Hickok. Absolution is yours. Oh, these guys are getting annihilated here. We have lost our hold of objective Baker. Woo. May not look like much, but she just got it where it counts. Uh-oh. Somebody's having some problems. What is that? Uh-oh. In the air. I am not paying attention. To my other pilots. Okay, there's Imperial. Let's see who this other guy is. I'll get these rockets. Is he on our team, Nalisa? 
So I lost my channel points because Shytown bet more. LOL, that's whack. Yeah, I don't know how that damn thing works. Don't worry about the channel points. The channel points are... Well, I guess the channel points are neat for, like, the... Doing the little things on the on the emotes and such. Man, what a pain in the butt. <laughs> Just kidding, you all got robbed. <laughs> All right, so Skidge, I don't know if there's anything I can do about it, but if there is, I will do something, but I will not make any guarantees, so. Guys, it doesn't give me an option to create a poll in the de- All right, screw that. This is a dumb Twitch thing. We'll All right, on the count of three, everybody stand up. Oh no, everybody stand up. Everybody stand around the Twitch poll. It's in the middle of the room. It's that big blop in the middle of the room. Yeah. You see that? All right, everybody, form a circle around a Twitch poll. Okay? All right. Now, here's what we're going to do. On the count of three, I want you guys to all kick the shit out of that thing. <laughs> just just write kick in the comments. All right? You ready? And we're just going to kick the shit out of it. One, two, three. <laughs> kick it. Kick it! Just kick it! It's a pain in the ass! We're not doing that ever again! It fucked everything up! There you go! Kick it! Yeah! Kick that fucker! <laughs> oh man, son of a bitch. Goddamn thing. My leg's sore. I think I might have fucked up my knee. How you get everybody okay? I know that Twitch poll ain't okay. <laughs> Mind blowing says, Oi, mate, I like your barbecue. Right on, me too. I haven't been doing it too much this year, though. I, uh, my back has been fucked up, so I haven't been, I haven't been out there. I gotta get out there. I've been doing a lot more grilling than, than smoking and barbecuing. Although I did some pulled pork a couple weeks ago. Holy mackerel. You're halfway to victory. That was great. All right, here we go. Oh, man right out in their own spawn reach out and touch someone oh that guy's fucked see that i just snuck in there and got that guy see i have this speed boost and What's happening is, these guys are preoccupied. And nobody likes to dogfight. And the AA can't shoot at everybody. stuff there buckaroo oh, look at that beach see let the Americans have that beach Japanese can have that beach they're already there we'll use this beach all right you know no, they'll use this beach we'll use that beach there's plenty of beach out here they can come visit in the morning or whatever we'll go visit in the evening it'll be awesome Save everyone the fucking trouble. Alright, here we go. <laughs> Djibouti. 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 
your booty. Uh-oh, right there. Womp, womp. I only got one. I was thinking about this today, because... <laughs> this is so stupid. The Middle East, right? Who the fuck named it the Middle East? <laughs> was it the people in the Middle East that named the Middle East the Middle East? Could that be possible? I mean, did they wake up one day and say, you know what? This really is the Middle East. <laughs> and everybody was like, yeah! <laughs> Middle East! Is that what happened? I don't think so. <laughs> Isn't that funny? I don't know what the hell made me think of that today. I was looking at something. It was like, um... <laughs> oh, yeah. It, oh, those are long shots. There's no way. Look at how off those are. Way too far. I, I think it was like a map of Westeros or something from, you know, Game of Thrones. I saw something somewhere. And I was, I like, there was some dumb name on the map. I don't remember what the fuck it was. And I thought, God, I'd hate to live there because it's got the dumbest dumbest goofiest name and I can't imagine that the people living there like that name and then I just started thinking about like yeah Middle East <laughs> and then Far East but maybe they want to be called the Near West screw you you know what I mean <laughs> I mean I'm on the Eastern Pacific Rim you know but we call it West Coast Everybody really calls it the West Coast. It's just kind of like the name of it. But you could look at it as it's the eastern coast of the Pacific. <laughs> ah, I, you know, like, goddamn, the things that you should just not ever bother thinking about. There are a lot of them. This, this is something. But you gotta kind of wonder, you know... Like, well, yeah, wait a second. Huh. <laughs> oh, boy. He just fixed. The West is the best. Get here and we'll do the rest. Kaiser, are you a movie guy? Did you watch Loki on Disney? No. I don't, I'm not really into Disney movies. <laughs> I do not have Disney Plus. I have not seen The Mandalorian. I figured I'll wait till it to be done and then I'll watch it. I'll figure out a way to watch it when it's done. Because I don't really want to wait around for shit. I'm not into that anymore. Objective Baker is no longer secure. It shouldn't take... God damn it, shouldn't take human beings four years to see all the episode of Chips. You should be able to marathon that in about a couple weeks' time with a lot of effort. <laughs> Life's a lot better that way, I'll be honest with you. Some shows just aren't worth cliffhangers, you know? But it seems like a lot of these things are just turning into real long movies. I don't know. I am a movie guy. I don't know. I don't... I'm not really a movie guy. There are some movies that I really like, and I like to think about cinema. And, uh... I studied film in college, but 
I, uh, I don't know. I like movies a lot. But my taste is just f awful. Awful. I don't have very good movie. I don't think I have very good movie taste. I think my... I think my movie taste is just... is just lame. <laughs> I watch... I watch really bad movies. I mean, not like in a fun way, like, you know, like, uh, really shitty movies that are campy and good. I like those movies, you know. I just watch bad movies. I make poor decisions about the movies that I see very often. <laughs> I saw the Alamo in the movie theater. Bad news, man. The Pacific. Have I ever seen the series The Pacific? I feel like I have. Was it Ken Burns? I probably did. Have you watched Murder 2? No, I haven't watched Murder 2. I just got done watching Entourage. And I'm kind of in between right now. But... <laughs> I have a couple... Like, I have some really good ideas for things to watch. And it's just like whatever hits me on a particular day. But one that I really need to watch is Bob's Burgers. <laughs> I have not watched Bob's Burgers. Like, at all. I don't- I might have seen like one or two episodes. Honest. But I know what I've seen is really funny and I just- I haven't watched it. So that might jump in there. Oh, there's Azir. How's it going, Azir? I watched Band of Brothers when it came out, like, forever ago. I don't really remember all that much about it. I like watching war movies, but war movies aren't the same after Battlefield. <laughs> and, uh, let me tell you. <laughs> I just watched Flying Leathernecks. Oh my god. Oh yeah, I watched Game of Thrones, but I don't think I watched the very end. I was so fed up with the whole thing, I didn't give a fuck anymore, man. I don't know that I ever watched the end. You know what I watched recently? I watched... Boardwalk Empire, and I love it. I watched Peaky Blinders before that. I had only gotten like two seasons into Peaky Blinders, so I finished it off and it was great. It was way better than what I was thinking when I left off. And then I was like, ah, I don't think I ever finished Boardwalk Empire. So I started, I watched all of Boardwalk Empire over and I forgot that I had watched, like, I forgot everything. It's a great show. And then after that, after that, I watched, uh, I think it was, um, what did I say that I just watched that I, oh yeah, Entourage. Entourage was pretty good. I watched, uh, Higher Maintenance. That was really goddamn good. Higher Maintenance. Look that one up. That's great. That was a good show. I also watched, uh, what's in there? Uh, Kim's Convenience. I watched, I finished it, like, right after the last season, before, so, the last season just came out. The season before that, I finished that a long time ago. I liked it, I liked, Kim's Convenience was, I thought was pretty funny, it was good, it was, it was good. But I haven't seen the, the last season yet. But movie-wise, I almost watched, so I watched Flying Leather next, but I almost watched, it's a Nicolas Cage movie, and it's like Snakebite or something like that. It's on HBO right now, and <laughs> I almost watched that. And I just thought, you know, I could probably do better. So I watch Flying Leather next. 
See what I mean? Oh, man. And I, I drive my wife crazy. When I pick movies, she hates it. Mm. She does not like it. It's always been that way, even when we were renting movies and going to Blockbuster and shit. Just drove her crazy. <laughs> I made a deal with her. And the deal was, if I get to pick tonight's movie, uh, you get the next 100 picks. <laughs> I don't think, I still don't think she's, she's might, she might only be up to like six or seven, honestly, since we made that deal. And we made that deal in the last, it was last century that we made that deal. So it was the last millennium when we made that deal. And she still hasn't gotten to see all the movies. Do all the her picks. <laughs> but it's kind of her fault for taking that deal. I mean, really. That's not... That, she knows. She had to have known better. Thoughts of Battlefield Portal. Okay, the really interesting thing about Battlefield Portal is... are... the things that are interesting about Battlefield Portal is all of you guys, all of you folks out there have probably played Battlefield at some point or Battlefront. And I know if you played more than one, you had a conversation with your friends in the game. Wouldn't it be cool if we could just have this tank against that? Oh yeah. I mean, that is like a dream come true. It really is like a dream come true. But it remains to be seen that it will be a success. For sure. I'm not, I don't know until I play it. But it really sounds like it's cool. The the other thing is... Um, that basically means they can... So this is the second exciting point as far as I'm concerned. I, I haven't really... The, the, the interesting thing is... Oh, they basically they've taken factions and vehicles and whatever and they've made them all portable and plug and play so in previous battlefields to this you only got new content it was like it it got plugged into the entire game only the maps were different but you know if they were present they could go in but you know what I mean like you could, the vehicles were interchangeable, but the factions I don't think were interchangeable at all in Battlefield 1. Like once you unlocked something or once new stuff came out, it was available to everything, but like all kind of at the same time, you know. And then, and then the interesting thing that happened with this one is the expansion content isn't available uh, in the, in like the original content. Like you can't fly a zero on uh, Twisted Steel, right? Whereas in Battlefield 1, um, before the assault tank came out, you could pick the heavy tank on, you know, Amiens or whatever. But then after the assault tank came out, you could also have that. <laughs> you know, it wasn't present before, but then it was. And it was like... But now these are completely different, right? So like these are compartmentalized additions, right? You can kind of see how the game is like sort of changing, but they've compartmentalized these additions all the way down to like the, the factional or the, the piecemeal, the object. The objects are very small now and they're interchangeable. So now that they can do that, what they can do is they can say, we're gonna, uh, we're gonna release the, um, uh, the 82nd Airborne pack <laughs> update. And then now you'll be able to have the 82nd Airborne in there. Or the, you know, the Marines or whatever. Or, um, you can have the Black Sheep Squadron now, you know, and you can have their planes. Um, you can have, uh, you Saving Private Ryan. You can do their, you know, their platoon or whatever. You can have, uh, and their vehicles, you can do Fury and have the Fury tanks 
you know, and have fury. You could set up something that's like a fury battle. You know what I mean? You can custom make all this stuff, but they can come out with this content over time. See? So this is very, 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 very interesting. This is very, very interesting. Okay. That's, that's the part that intrigues me. Cause it's like, it sounds like we're going to be getting lots of very interesting world worthwhile content in a way that we can do something cool with because all right you know uh we're uh battlefield one like the czar stuff the uh, the russian the russian stuff it's all winter but it's it's all over there and if you get tired of playing those maps you're out of luck you can't play that stuff you know what i mean it, it's done but now you can repurpose this and it just seems really cool. Oh, you managed to do a prediction. Okay. All right. Is this with Odin Boins or what is this? <laughs> I don't fucking know. I hope it works out. <laughs> so I'm very excited about it because the potential there is like, we're going to be... It, it feels like this is an avenue for lots of content over time. Lots of new content. Which m really makes me excited. And like, you could research battles and put them together maybe. You know, wouldn't that be cool? Like, maybe they'll add more World War II planes. I mean... When you think about it, it's like, oh yeah, this is pretty cool. But I'm more thinking about, like, there's the initial concept, but if this grows, it could be super duper cool. I mean, they're almost building War Thunder, but they're building it with infantry. Very interesting. I don't know, man. I... <laughs> And it seems like it's very customizable, so that's kind of cool. So, like, you can make the factions be... They can do roughly the same amount of damage, you know. Like, obviously, like, uh, you know, an F-35 against a, a 109 would pretty much just destroy it really quick, probably. But then you can make the 109 be invincible, or you can make the F-35 be especially delicate. So, kind of crazy. <laughs> you hate shotguns, you can turn it off. Yeah, if you don't like shotguns, you can turn it off. But, here's a word of warning to you guys. Um, the more customizable it is, the more annoying it is. Honestly, people don't really go down all that far on all those levels and enjoy it. You know what I mean? There's only so far you can go without sur surprising folks in goofy ways. It's like, oh, this is so cool, but then you did this, uh, you know. <laughs> like, no shotguns. Remember Battlefield 4? You would go to a custom server and it would say, no shotguns, no ig iglas, no soflam. No, uh, no mines, <laughs> no this, no that, the other. You have to, like, look at a list of, like, 17 goddamn things that you're not supposed to do. And then if you do one you forgot, then you get banned. It's like, ah, oh, fuck. Well, now they put that, you know, like, they, they force it so you can't do that. You know, you just have to play by the rules, which is cool. But then... That means lots of lots and lots and lots of different custom servers. Oh, I'm in trouble. Get over there. And the more servers that are out there, the worse it is. Nobody'll play on them and people get people will get discouraged. Like nobody ever uses my server, blah blah blah. Woe is me. I guess they'll be like publishable, like they're like templates, so you can just load it up and run it, which is kind of neat. From what I can understand about it. 
Anywhere. Mind blowing says, oi mate. What is your question? I didn't see what it was. Yeah. Oh man, you're drawing ire. <laughs> Don't draw ire. You're 11? You're not even supposed to be in here. I don't know what that means. Oh, yeah. Yeah, if you're 11, you shouldn't be watching. We talk about... We talk about... Things in people's crotches... All the time. It's very gross. And you don't really want to know what's going on in a... A grown man's crotch. You might... You might just be like, if that's the future, I'm jumping off the bridge. <laughs> yeah, hemorrhoids and fucking. <laughs> Sundriest maladies of the ass that no one tells you about. Like, oh, that can happen? Nobody said anything about that. Eleven, man. Can you imagine being eleven years old? What is that even? I mean, your your brain is made of like like nothing. It's just putty. You know nothing. You have like um You have not been out drinking. Oh man. You have not been hungover. We have taken objective easy. I have been seeing people smoke like my dad. He smokes in our house. Oh my god. <laughs> the funny part is you can never really prove if someone is like 11 years old. That's the crazy thing. Oftentimes it's somebody that's like the same age as me. And they're hanging out. And it's a fun way to troll. Pretend you're 11. <laughs> it's like, oh yeah. Yeah, you gotta go, like... <laughs> Something, I don't know. That's crazy. Oh well. Yeah, that ne that new battlefield, that portal thing is very, 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 very intriguing. Uh, and I wonder if it'll be there at launch. Remember... Did they say it was going to be there for lunch? Yeah, and I wonder what... I wonder how, the, like, committed they are to it, you know. Because potentially that could be, like, Battlefield, uh, you know, it's like, uh... It's like a, uh... A what do you call it kind of Battlefield? Like a transcending Battlefield. That just goes on... Portal could live forever. Just getting parts of new battlefields put in, you know, it's kind of neat. Honestly, the okay, so the the one thing that I was holding out hope for, the reason why I had any hope for this new battlefield is because after Battlefield 4, they came out with Battlefield Hardline. That was an interesting idea because it was like, that was one of our wet dreams back then is to have we used to think, well, uh, wouldn't it be awesome if, um, Kaiser, they want me to ban the 11 year old. <laughs> yeah, he might as well. Well, if he's really 11, <laughs> he might as well. Yeah, you guys can be mob rule. That's fine. So Battlefield Hardline came out and that was the fulfillment of a wet dream. Because we all used to be like, wouldn't it be cool if, uh, if, oh, if only there was, if only there was GTA with battlefield mechanics. Come on, you remember people saying that. You probably said it yourself back then. And then they came out, we're like, oh my god, it's GTA with battlefield mechanics. And it sucks. Oh, there's a kill right there. And it wound up sucking. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I did not like it very much. But that was a fulfillment of a dream, right? That was like, 
They made one of our dreams come true. And then... When they, after that, then they announced Battlefield 1, right? And Battlefield 1 was like, holy shit. Because, you know, there's always this tit for tat between Call of Duty and Battlefield, you know? And I really felt like with Battlefield 1, that was such an interesting, daring move to make. You know, that they thought that they could pull that move off and they did i mean that was that's a pretty goddamn cool game there's a lot of love in that game battlefield one that's a hell of a move so you know the moves that they've made in the past have been pretty freaking cool moves and i'm like i don't know what the hell that equivalent move would be now that's what i was thinking at the end of battlefield 5 you know what where do they go from here oh i didn't i i let him too much Damn it. You know, are they gonna make some what are they gonna make a crazy move to Outfox? You know, will they pull another one of those? And it really seems like 42 with Portal is like, wow, you know, that's a hell of a move. But when they give us what we want, it doesn't necessarily work because, you know, a lot of people wanted a battle royale. Battlefield and it's out there and it's it's not that fun <laughs> Not a lot of people play Battlefront uh, not a uh, firestorm. I never even remember the name of the goddamn thing <laughs> I only played like I only played like five or six rounds and it took me a long time before I did it was actually, uh, when I got to 500 followers, I played, uh, Firestorm. <laughs> and it took a long time for me to get to 500 followers. I thought I was never gonna have to play Firestorm. <laughs> so, when they give us what they want, when they give us GTA with Battlefield mechanics, and... When they give us Battle Royale in the Battlefield universe. Because if they didn't do it, everybody would want it. You know what I mean? They're like, oh, Battlefield missed its moment or whatever. Someone suspended and or deactivated his account already. Oh, oh that's good. There you go. There we go. You only smoke flour, or do you dabble in concentrates? I really don't do concentrates. Uh, I had a couple vape pens uh, very early on, and they were uh, CO2 extractions. And then I just kind of was like, I don't know what the hell is in that shit, so I stopped. I had they had these. I had some really early, really cool ones. They weren't even rechargeable. They just had a built-in battery and a built-in cartridge, and you got what you want. I remember I had Willy's Wonder on that. They were kind of inconsistent back then. Pick loot mechanics were rough and well, and but yeah, Galatron. Oh my god, yeah. And then it was different than Battlefield, and I... I've always said, like, man, if they made a battle royale that was distinctively Battlefield, like Battlefield's take on battle royale, that meant something, and not just a ring of fire <laughs> in the Arctic, <laughs> like in Norway, wow, <laughs> that's always been my fantasy. <laughs> you know, what the fuck was that? So, what I mean by Battle Royale that's distinctively Battlefield, if you took Devastation, and you took those bombers, and you started bombing incendiary bombs, and randomly setting the city on fire, and if you, you know, held on to control points, and then were able to keep the fire at bay, through teamwork, that would have been fucking cool. You could have repurposed a bunch of the maps and done that, and that would have been a neat battle royale. 
Like, it doesn't have to have the same exact fucking mechanics. Jump out of a plane, jump out of a bus, into a ring of... of fire. I mean... Uh, like, it's... it's better if it's... Battlefield's, like, vaguely plausible. You know what I mean? It's... it's kind of plausible, you know? And there's nothing about that that was, like, distinctively Battlefield. You know? It was just a... it was just a goofy thing. But it could have been cool. Like, you could have done Firestorm on a bunch of different maps, right? And randomly had the city start to burn. Operation Underground, I... you know, I'm like... Maybe, you know, different areas flood, or you fill it with gas, or something. Randomly every time. And then people go to the areas, and then if you control a flag, maybe there's a flag in there and that keeps it at bay, or something like that. I don't know. Anything would have been better than whatever the fuck... <laughs> On a map that's like so unremarkable, it didn't matter where you landed. Everything I. I... What? It, everything was, like, the same wherever you went. It was a huge map <laughs> where everything was the same, you know? I can't believe I was 30 and 2. <laughs> I don't remember killing really anyone that map. <laughs> Lofoten and Narvik, yeah. It was so goofy, Stiff. It was so goofy. Oh, Skitch is gonna go barbecue right on. Good luck, sir. Oh, he's barbecuing. Yeah, man, it was just, you know... I fucking hated every minute that I played that game. I got in there one night. Uh, like, I landed and I died. And that was it. And then I got in, and I tried to live, and I died. And that was, like, all I played that first time. And then, um, I played another night. And I was with some friends that had played. And we played, and I got a gun, and we hid. I got some stuff, I don't know. And we were hiding in a building. I had like a STG-44 or something. I don't remember what the hell I had. I had some gun. And the dudes came in. And I pulled the trigger. The first enemy and it was on single fire and I immediately died. I hit the guy like in the thigh. And that was it. And then four dudes came running right in. They took all our shit and left. And that was it. I'm like, I can't believe it. I can't fucking believe it. I was on single fire, and my friend was like, yeah, they st all the guns are... I'm like, oh, shit. It was awful. I hated it. And it had to have different mechanics than Battlefield. That just drives me crazy. ASW, look at this guy. Anti-submarine warfare is out there. How you doing, man? How you been? Oh shit. That's the one we want. I don't know. A little short. Yeah, it's short. Yeah. So yeah, I'm really excited about that portal. Uh, I think. And for the reasons I said, you know, I, that's what I, that's why I'm excited for it. I'm like, well, interesting chunks of content potential for a long period of time. If they keep, if they support it, man, I mean, maybe it won't be awesome and it won't work and it'll be like so many other cool ideas, but the things where they grant our wishes don't typically, don't typically go all that well. You know what you don't like to hear? A love letter to our fans. When they say that, that's bullshit. You only say that after. <laughs> you don't say that before. 
It's it's way better to say it turned out to be a love letter to the fans, not it's going to be it's a love letter to the fans or it's going to be a love letter to the fans. That's <laughs> That's like hmm Oh, too far ahead. this oh I couldn't get out of there I got his buddy though I couldn't get back out of there I took those shots and it was way too my shots were way too off but we'll camp it oh stiff yeah of course this has been like we've been playing this for a hundred thousand years I mean I've been playing since it started I've streamed like every minute that I played of this game Almost, not quite. There was a while I was playing during the day and I wasn't streaming that on PC. I was just practicing. <laughs> yeah, Tombstone, that's a thing. No, you gotta be like, you gotta, you gotta be, oh, I didn't get my plane back. I mean, you really have to be like, you can't unreasonably get your hopes up. Because that's what happened about this game. <laughs> I mean, I think people reasonably got their hopes up, and it didn't even hit that for a lot of folks. You know what I mean? Like, you could make some pretty general assumptions about a, a, a World War II video game. Like, it feels like Normandy should probably be in there. <laughs> you know? That's not really all that far to get your hopes up, but it still is. <laughs> And it was in this case, so. <laughs> so it's kind of like, well, don't get your hopes too up. And then people are going to be like, well, it doesn't have this. And it doesn't have this. Well, well fuck you. <laughs> Just fuck off. Take it easy. Nobody really cares. All the all I care about is when do I get to play it. I don't even give a shit when you get to play it. I only care about when I get to play it. I am very selfish. Very selfish about my battlefield. <laughs> I mean, seriously. <laughs> I don't I don't the only thing I care is how soon do I get to play it? And I don't give a shit what anybody else says about the fucking game. Especially right now. I mean, fuck. Come on, man. Oh, that guy's dead. Um. Yeah. Don't. Don't let anybody ruin it before you. For you. Before you get to form your own fucking opinion about it, okay? Don't let anybody take that shit away from you, man. Because you might fucking love a game that people hate. Or say they hate, and they're just out their ass. <laughs> or they're so next level, they're not even on the same existence as you are. You know. Just... Judge it for yourself. It's what Life is way more fun that way. Because right now, everything sucks. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> you know, everything sucks. Jesus. That's the worst thing. It's a drag, man.
Oh boy, let's see. Oh, we definitely got that guy. I think I took two shots at the same guy by mistake in a very fancy way. Oh, uh, you want to start Volcano or too early? 740, 300 tickets. Yeah, that's close enough. Oh, where is my phone? Oh, it's not where it needs to be. There we go. Awesome. Perfect. Good call. Those cannons are like incredible because they just murder everything and they can super murder planes. You can point them really high up and then they act as AA, like really powerful AA. Uh oh. All right, here we go. Yeah, I kind of tell, like, that 11-year-old, I kind of tell my admins, think of it as like it's a bar or a nightclub or a comedy club or something. You know what I mean? And when somebody comes in and they're disruptive for any reason, you throw them out, you know? And if you, th if you, if you think about it like that, where did that guy go? Shit. Oh, nope. When you think about it like that, the decision is, like, really easy because... Of an 11, 11 year old walks into a comedy club during like somebody's somebody's set is <laughs> like Yee. I mean if they're even able to make it in that far. But if they were able to make it in that far, then it's like, poof, you're out of here. Oh, I got sunlight problems. God damn it. Sorry, guys. <laughs> There's no option to end the fall. See, see, Jack, we totally, we totally did something without testing it, and now we're paying for it. Isn't that hilarious? See, I learn lessons and I fucking uh, have to relearn them a hundred times. It's so funny. But I kind of feel like comfortable enough now with you guys that like we can do a little bit of experimentation and it won't drive you too crazy. It'll just steal all your shit, all your channel points to oblivion, I guess. Warfail, it's like, it's like trying to get somebody to land a 747 over the radio or something. It's so complicated. All right, I'm coming home. I got one for you. Oh, Nalisa, you got to teabag that guy. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm pretty sure if you teabag him, you he will just lose his ever-loving mind. Because he really had me. There might have been two planes up there, I'm not sure. But he turned on a dime and he nailed me. He really had me. Nalisa is up to eight Fliegerfaust kills. That's 800,000 800, Odin boins, you guys. That's pretty fucking cool. Uh oh, Duck just dumped, jumped out of there. Question is, is it just... Alright, here he comes. He's coming at you. 
He's going for Bravo. Got him. Ooh, I got that guy. <laughs> There's somebody lining up on me. Game is fine. I have ping problems. 10 4. Roger that. Ping problems. Roger Dodger. Uh oh. He was coming for me. You see, so what he did is he hung back so that he could avoid the the AA, but I think somebody got him. Moose Knuckle, how's it going? How you doing, Moose Knuckle? <laughs> How you been? <laughs> Uh-oh, JD just farted and completely shit himself. Viewers have farted 24,086 times. JD, head out to the front yard, man. What's going on? You shit yourself. You play with fire. That's it. You might get burned. Oh, he left. He jumped off. I got him anyway. Head out to the front yard. Abandon ship, JT. Did I call you JT? I think I did. Oh, man. There we go. Abandon ship, JD. You ready? <laughs> Grab the hose! Woo! All right, JD. Absolution is yours. There's a plane. Bandit. He is going to uh, Delta. See, I kind of have to hang out back here now because they're going to start targeting. Okay, here we go. This is all fucked over there. But when you listen to people talk about the new battlefield, I'm sure they're building the the Homer Simpson car. They're throwing all the shit in there. <laughs> it's not it's like people have lists of demands right now. Oof. <laughs> they're like here is my list of demands. By the way, $70 for this game is way too much. But here are my demands. <laughs> it's crazy. Wow, look at all those fleet. Look at all those fleegers. <laughs> Holy shit, it's like fireworks out there, man. we doing eh, 10 and 1 I died all right oh man oh that's a friendly plane well thank goodness for that I just wanted to be fun as hell me too yeah and uh well bugs I mean come on Bugs are a fact of life, so we can all stop being assholes about bugs. I mean, there hasn't been a game release that's happened in the last 20 years that hasn't had fucking bugs. There's never been a perfect release, so we can all stop expecting this thing to be perfect. Seriously. <laughs> It'll have bugs. I hope the release goes smooth. But it'll have bugs. And... Oh my god, look at this guy. I hope it's fun as fuck. Like, holy shit. I hope it's fun as fuck. I don't even know that that portal is gonna be there at launch. Did they say it's gonna be at launch? It might not. Attention. We no longer have control. I'll bet they didn't say a date. I'll bet they just... We're like, it exists, and people were so astounded that they didn't even ask. <laughs> They're probably like, holy shit, nobody asked, you're right. 
<laughs> Bjorn, no one asked. <laughs> you are right. I don't know what their names are, so I'm just making shit up. Svensk. Uh, I think I'm giving the name of IKEA furniture now. It's probably terribly offensive. I'm a very dumb American. I don't know much about anything. I know about pizza and Battlefield, so I mean, fuck me, right? Svensk. Ikea, I don't know, from my ass. That was a great idea, no one noticed, no one asked. <laughs> Billy! <laughs> you were right. <laughs> your mother, your parents were right to name you after bookshelves for your wisdom. <laughs> I golly, I don't know, man. I mean, uh, it's, uh, is it okay if I make fun of people that I don't even know the name of the country? <laughs> I mean, is it more a critique of myself? I think. <laughs> I got no, uh, no claims for an atomic brain here. Not even atomic. <laughs> Electric. <laughs> Electric would be fucking cool. <laughs> no, he doesn't have an he doesn't even have an electric brain. He just has a <laughs> There's <laughs> a pool of green goo <laughs> enveloped in green gas. Ugh. <laughs> Stupid American, yeah, man. I'm all right with that. I- I can bear that. I'm good. Hey, at least I got my fucking shot. <laughs> so I'm not that far out there. Uh-oh. Well, that's a hell of a thing. <laughs> I just looked over at, uh, my dashboard over here. And uh, it says zero viewers. I was like, holy shit. Not abandon this fight, soldier. <laughs> nah, that's better. My, uh, my dashboard over there and Safari on my Mac just like utterly took a dump and all I looked for the viewers and then everything else was zero. I'm like, oh, okay, all right. <laughs> but for a second there, I was like, uh oh, <laughs> what did I say? <laughs> was it? It was using the IKEA furniture names for baby names, wasn't it? <laughs> They're people names. <laughs> That's not going to make you a dice friend. <laughs> no, they're not going to do it. Thomas Ortiz Maya, I am pretty good, man. I am pretty fucking good. I got to tell you. Uh I, I don't do anything I wouldn't watch myself, so I got a pretty fucking high bar. That's why we're not watching me dance around the room in a, playing Wii games in uh, yoga pants. I got a fucking high bar. <laughs> God. Oh, Squirt Gun McGee. No, everybody's got everything over on us right now, it seems. On the United States side. I think our, our, our star shined a little brighter than it should have for a while there. And now uh, we just need to readjust. Everything's going to be just fucking fine. Don't worry about it. The United States has a history of acting goofy, honestly. <laughs> it's nothing new. We'll be all right. We're all right. We'll be fine. We're just, you know, got a little out of whack there. I like the countries that are laying low in the cut. Like, the ones that you don't hear anything about, those are the, the countries that have got their shit together. Like, you don't hear them about them at the news at all. 
Like, we had some people in here in the chat from, like, Paraguay and Uruguay. Nobody's- nobody's talking about them. They're just doing their thing, minding their shit, getting through the fucking pandemic. They're not causing a ruckus. The enemy doesn't have much left as far as I know, I don't hear anything about them. And if I don't hear anything, no news is good news, as far as I'm concerned. So if you're laying low in the cut, that's where you want to be right now. Yeah. Our shaft throbbed a little too hard for a little too long. I mean, it happens, you know. It's all right. We'll be all right. We'll be fine, you guys. We'll figure it out. One way or another, we'll be fine. <laughs> yeah, we won the we won the Second World War and invented Doritos. So I think we're going to be okay. <laughs> We have seven layer burritos and all kinds of good shit. We'll be fine. I'm gonna take a break here between rounds. I'm gonna smoke a bowl and take a whiz. If you're in the officer's club, you shouldn't see any ads, but you might because I don't know. I don't know why. If you're not in the officer's club, you should see three minutes worth of ads, but you never do. And the break usually lasts about four minutes depending on how baked I get or how long I have to pee. This is why the speed boost is cool. Because it allows you to get right back there. And then it allows you to get the fuck out of there in a hurry. Look at those Fliegerfausts. Ooh, that guy hit me. See that? Took that one on the side of the chin right there. Fuck yeah, man. We'll be alright. You guys will be fine. <sighs> alright. I'm gonna take that break. I'm gonna smoke bowl, take a whiz. It'll be about four minutes. You guys know the drill by now. How do we do? 19 and 1, 6 and 1. Duck. Well. He's all right. <laughs> all right, you guys, I'm going to take that break. I'll be right back. Sweetie boy, and they began to 
who caught them by the stream. But the troll to the gorilla and the prola prola to it. But the troll to the gorilla and the prola to it. Now the boy and girl are back in school, shattered in their dream. The teacher planted poison oak all along the stream. It's a crazy kind of a song to belong to a boy and girl in love with a beautiful dream. But they love to sing, swing. We have taken objective dog. Almost back. Here we go. I found my way. Here we go. Okay, I'm back, you guys. Here we go. Mogul Ball and take a whiz. All right. Oh, yeah, Shy Town? How so? Fixed. As uh, is Jack leaning on one side. Is he saying vote for this or vote for that? I'll give you. I'll give you ten Odin boys if you vote this way. I bet that's what it was. Was was he strong arming people? Officers Club, right on, Beardy. Uh-oh. Let's get that out there. Thanks, Beardy. You get the Officers Club pipe. Right on, man. Uh-oh. Welcome to the Officers Club. You gotta join the Discord. A little Officers Club section there. 
pretty kick ass. You also get access to the fartner and fartner push command when it's active. That's cool. Uh-oh, look at that guy. Uh-oh. He's got a gunner. At least he's spotted. Uh-oh. Who we got? You want a moonshot with that thing. I see him. So far over there, it's a waste of time. Oh, there's a tank. The tank's getting hit. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm getting a little daring now. Oh, I'm out there. Oh, I'm out of ammo. This is a bad idea, though. Oh, my God. There's a lot of them here. Uh oh, that's good news. Oh, I did not get that shot off. See, that's what inevitably happens with me. When I snipe, I wind up going way too far up. If I would have stayed back where my beacon was, I would have been fine. I would have done better supporting it from back there. Yeah, so this map's kind of an oddball map. I've had a lot of fun on this map, and I like it a lot. But right now, I'm kind of using it as a bridge to get to Twisted Steel. Panzerstorm and uh, Provence. We have taken objective Ant. Oh shit, duck. To the right. Damn it. Yeah. To the right. Yeah, yeah. Mind relic. Yeah, yeah. No, oh, yeah. Yeah, you can do that on this for sure. Wow, this is crazy. Oh yeah. <laughs> we have taken objective uh, Okay, all right. So I have. I could put the six X scope on here. Customize. Would that be? That would be excessive. This is three X. It does have a six X. Let's try it out. <laughs> Look at it. It's ridiculous. Ridiculous. Oh, I just took out my own team's little flare doodah there. Yeah, that tank is still down there. Uh oh, uh oh, oh, they're coming from the right. They're coming from the right. They're coming around our side there. They're coming around our side. I know, Space Turkey. You're, you're not kidding. Well, they're close now. And they're over there. Uh oh. Friendly. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> Did you see that? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Here we go. Come on. Oh my god! 
Oh my god. The scope is so stupid. <laughs> that is unbelievable. Oh no. Oh, I'm in the river. Oh fuck. There's smoke behind me. This scope is ridiculous. Who has time for a scope like this? Nobody. I mean, I never run this gun. I, n I do not do this. Oh. oh, I'm in so much trouble. <laughs> Did you see him lay down and get ready? Ugh. Oh my god. Alright, well, that's enough of me sniping. This- oh, Jesus. Thanks for the revive. <laughs> oh my god. We have now taken objective Baker. Whew. Alright. <laughs> we We're completely surrounded, that's cool. Oh, I know, JD. Oh my god. Thanks, duck. You know, if I could just stay alive as a sniper for one more second... <laughs> it'll be so great. I'll be so excited. So happy. <laughs> Thank you, duck. <laughs> oh. God, I'm still fucking alive with this stupid gun. I hate it. Well, you know, sometimes it's okay to change your mind. You know what I mean? Like, you know, honestly, sometimes, sometimes it takes courage to change your mind. Soldiers, we have lost objective. Oh boy. Oh yeah, that's good. I'm stuck over there. Yeah, see, I'm going too far up. There comes a tank or something here. Here's somebody. Oh, friendly. You have been denied access to this area. Thank you. Oh shit, there's a guy just laying there. Oh my god. Jackrabbit just generously shared a bowl with all 104 viewers. Right on, Jackrabbit. Thanks for the 100 bits. I appreciate it. Thank you. Get the 100 bit pipe. Jack just shared a bowl with everybody. Oh, I'm finally dead. Wait a second. We're bored. Seven and three. How is that possible that they kept me alive that long with that gun? All right, specializations, customize. God, I do not want a 6X scope, please. Oh my God, that was just terrible. Okay. Oh, and the, and the round is kind of, oh, we should get around them, you guys. I wonder if we can. Maybe I can try to be a little enterprising. Let's see what we got. I'm gonna see if I can get around them here. It is possible that no one has tried. Oh man, this is going not where I want to be. Well, we have Delta. I'm gonna go out this way. Objective Charlie has been lost. Oh, fuck. Oh my god. I'll bet this guy's got a hundred kills. <laughs> I didn't see. Unbelievable. I couldn't even get past that guy. All right, let's see. Nalisa's over here still. That's probably a good spot to be. 
Oh. Oof. Uh oh. Oh, that guy's dead on the front of that tank. There's a Sherman over there. He's marked. Oh my goodness. Whew. I just had a massive, massive itch in my eye. Oh, fuck. This is like a totally different way to play. It's insane. Oh shit. Good luck with that. They don't have faith that you'll get 25 kills this round. Oh, I don't think so. I will try my best. I don't know what I've got. I don't even know where I'm at. I'd be surprised if I had eight. Yep, I have eight. I am surprised. That's okay. It's all right. I can miss them all. Oh my God. That's all right. That guy's a level two. I'm cool with that too. <laughs> He's like, I love this game. All right, here, let's, let's switch. I'm going to switch over to, I screw up the bed over there. Here we go. We're done. We have taken objective Charlie. What fucking scope do I have on this gun? Oh my god, where was he? <laughs> what the fuck was that? Did you see him? I didn't see him. Holy fuck. That was crazy. What fucking scope was on that gun? Customize. <laughs> Good lord. Uh, just give me this. I'll take this. Alright. We're at Alpha. I'm spawning at Alpha. Oh my god. Why didn't it shoot? <laughs> oh, I did three damage. That's cool. Oh my god. Fuck! Holy shit. Tabaraco, how's it going, man? Thanks for the raid! What's up, man? You get the raid pipe. Welcome, Tabaraco viewers. I'm Kaiser Von Grauer. Thanks for raiding tonight. You guys get the raid pipe. Hey, Tav, how you doing, man? Oh, one on this guy. Oh, shit. Get me out of there. Thanks for the raid. Thanks for stopping by, everyone. Tavarako, he's a goddamn nut. That guy plays Battlefield like a beast. Oh. Friday Night Videos just resubbed to the Officers Club. Right on, Friday Night Videos. You get the resub pipe. Thanks. For uh, hanging out with us, man. Friday night videos. God damn, I remember that. That shit was cool. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, get me out of here. This is a terrible, terrible spot. Oh. I'll be surprised if I get to 10 fucking kills. Oh my god, no. What was that? Oh, he's dead. Screw that guy.
That helps. We have taken objective All right, we got Alpha, we got Bravo. Hey, we're the Japanese, we can count their spawn. Oh! Oh my God. Oh my god. Oh shit. Objective dog has been lost. Oh shit. Fuck. Here they come. Oh! Uh-oh. <laughs> uh-oh. Oh, uh-oh. Here. See you later, guys. <laughs> come on, 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 come on. There we go. This is not a good idea. Let's go. Let's go. First focal plane cheer to 100 bits. Thanks, first focal. Oh, fuck. Now I'm all right out there. Come on. Somebody drive a Jeep off of there. Come on. We have 18 tickets. How likely is it that somebody's going to come flying off of there in a Jeep? Pretty fucking likely. It's more likely that. Oh. Oh no! It's more likely that a tank is gonna come along and fuck me. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my lord. Oh yeah, baby, let's do this. <laughs> me he got me i think he got me ah <laughs> oh, fuck you <laughs> that's no fair man oh man keep hitting the button oh my god let's go fuck it oh we're gonk that was a that was a fun round, man. I had a good time. I mean, it was stupid. I don't even know what my score was. What happened? <laughs> Did I hit the button? I don't think I hit the button. I don't know what the fuck happened there. I'm a little disappointed. What the fuck was that? Do you ever shoot the Piat like a martyr? No. Because it sucks. They, um, uh, they had functionality for that when it first came out, you know, and it was like supposed to be something that was really cool and it was not cool and it never was cool. It, it, it has always sucked. <laughs> that feature has always sucked. Shooting a Piat like a mortar. It's, it's kind of a funny thing. Like, I tried it out, of, like, right when the game came out, and it sucked so hard, so much, that I didn't pl try it again for a very long time. And, like, a long time ago, I brought it up, and it still sucked. I tried it again. It sucks. It's very disappointing. It's as disappointing as the Kampf pistol is awesome. So just run a comp pistol. Nice. That's what I would do. That's what I do.
But I know I'm not going to kill a tank with a comp pistol, you know, but I'm more likely to kill infantry with a comp pistol than with a Piat shot like a, um, a mortar. Because it's battlefield, really. Although it would be cool if they had a mortar in here. Because they did have those in World War II. But they didn't really make their way in here. They'd probably be unbelievably OP. People would scream about grenade spam. Oh, here we go. Here's a dude. Uh-oh. Here's another dude. Good luck. 84, man. Yeah, <laughs> that guy got... Just... He, he pulled up there and then he stopped and started shooting and then got completely rejected. Here we go. Let's see. What do we got here? There he is. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Here we go. Sometimes I see people's names and, like, I've killed them so many times. It's crazy. Like, I recognize them from... I mean, I play a lot of Battlefield, so it, like... Time is weird in Battlefield for me. Oh, that was bad. But usually I'm playing and I'm baked, right? And so, um... I don't remember stuff, and sometimes it's it's hard for me to notice stuff. And uh, by the time I notice that I'm killing someone a lot, I probably killed them a lot, lot. <laughs> like, <laughs> like I don't, I don't always look at names. I mean, I just, I just don't. I, if I do, I don't remember. You know. Elise is up to 10 kills. She just pulled in another million Odin points tonight. Raphael Freeman cheered 100 bits. You get the 100 bit pipe. Thanks, Raphael. You get the 100 bit pipe. Right on, man. I know where that guy is. He's underneath there. Watch this. This is going to be stupid right here. Yeah. Oh, he's not underneath anymore. Oh, I hit him. He got up there. He was running on the bridge. I don't think I was fully ADS that time. And when I'm when I'm not fully ADS, the, the plane feels like it handles differently. I know that sounds weird, but... Here we go. Oh yeah, there's some dudes right there. Let's see what we've got. I don't see anybody. I'm bucking. I'm bucking. I'm bugging out. Okay, we're taking Alpha.
Let's see, what do we got? So, I know I tell you guys how to fly all the time. I always tell you that, you know, you got to get your controls down, right? And I always tell people when they're new pilots, I say, Oh, fuck. <laughs> that was so cool. <laughs> oh, my God. I just... That was awesome. <laughs> um, you know, I tell people to get all their specializations done, right? Okay. So what's your goal after that? <laughs> your goal after that is to be able to fly with perfect, full intent 100% of the time. Like, the move that I just did, I meant to do that move. So, I'm 100% doing everything right now. I am fully in control. And if I think of a if I think about a move to do next, I can do that move. I can imagine a move right now. I'm going to do an inverted dive right over Bravo. Here we go. Or Echo, sorry. No, it's Bravo. Sorry. I just did exactly what I imagined. And then I was able to avoid the AA, so I adjusted on the fly. So that's what your ultimate goal is, to be able to fly with 100% intent. 100% of the time. And I do not know that it works out to be 100%, 100% of the time for me, but it's probably pretty close. Even with things being fucked up. He's dead. Actually, I don't know if he's dead. I'm not sure. Yeah, he's dead. Okay. Here we go. Oh. Huh, that's interesting. Oh, they got a neat little racket going on out. Uh-oh. He got boned. Wow, how did oh we have golf? Oh my god, he got hit by that golf AA. Yeah, I decided that I was gonna stop attacking him and that I would lay low until he went for his spawn. Oh this is fucked up right now. Okay, I'm getting out of here. <laughs> That's not high enough. Good work. Objective two is ours. Can I play Battlefield 5 with only EA subscription, like the cheap one? I have no idea. I don't know. I, I subscribe to the expensive one because I'm a jackass for Battlefield. And it's the only thing I play. 
So, I'm paying way too much. But I get a discount? I don't know. Maybe that's good, I don't know. I bought a lot of skins and shit. Now, let me tell you something that would be fucking cool. If the skins that I got in Battlefield 5, I can still have in Battlefield 6 in 2042. You know, if that portal thing, you know, can I run as my own character, you know? Like, can I have this gun with these skins, like the blue skin or my gold skin? That would be really fucking cool. That would make these skins worth something. You know what I mean? And that would be really nice. You know, you got a guy like Energized Knight who golds everything. A lot of people have golded everything. If they could have those same skins available in Battlefield 2042, that would be really fucking special. Like, if I could have this skin for my plane, but I can have it because I earned it up or purchased it here, that would be cool. You know what I mean? Oh, oh man, I'm going to fly all those planes. It's going to be so much fun. I don't give a shit. <laughs> oh. Yeah, blocked by the girders. How are we doing here? 10-0, that's not bad. I haven't been dying very much tonight, so that's good news. The fart is not louder. Let me check. No. Nope. It's pretty loud, but nope. No. <laughs> All right, here we go. Now we're like going back in their territory where the risk is higher. Ooh. That guy just, I don't know what the fuck happened. That guy Flieger Fausted somebody. So if that's true, that that was an enemy plane that flew by my face that I did not react at all to. That last fart will haunt my dreams. <laughs> Some of them, you know, Colin Bowling at the crack concert. I think about that one. Like, it pops in my head during the day, and I'm like... Or, like, sometimes the Celine Dion. <laughs> There's the one with Celine Dion. It's like, how did that happen? I, I have I wrote it. I don't know how it happened. Can you imagine? I wasn't smoking pot when I wrote that. <laughs> I was I was sober when I wrote that. <laughs> we are losing objective ten. Fuck. <laughs> oh my god, you guys. Well, I hope everybody's having fun out there. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. I'm having fun. Not really dying very much. And I can't complain. I cannot complain right now. Dibsy cheered 100 bits. Right on, Dibsy. Fuck yeah, man. Dibsy, you know what I've been thinking about doing? You know how on uh, public broadcasting they have like those canned responses? I've been thinking <laughs> I've been thinking about doing those. Your bits go to like just completely copying what they say, but <laughs> little scripts that I can read. <laughs> All right, here we go. I'm just a weirdo, that's all. It's not a big deal. Maybe it wasn't that funny. <laughs> Thanks again, Dibsy. Uh, NG Wuck, my first day here, and I must say it's funny here. Well, yeah, it's definitely funny. <laughs> like... 
Let me ask you, like, funny haha. -ha? <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I hope it's funny haha. -ha. <laughs> oh, let's see. Oh, I have good news. I am no longer in TikTok jail. <laughs> so. I'm on TikTok, and I, uh, you guys should check me out there. There's a really large number of Battlefield players on TikTok. It's really cool. Battlefield fans. And, uh, hold on. Uh-oh, here we go. There's a lot of Battlefield fans there, so you have to check me out on there i attract a lot of battlefield fans and whenever i post on tiktok for as long as i've been doing it i have a little thing it says geyser von grauer broadcasts live at 6 30 p.m daily on twitch and then the url and then so i put that like as a comment on every post i just thought that that would be a good thing to do i don't know because People ask me where 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 do you stream and what do you broadcast or what do you stream? Infantry attacking Sam's 10-4. There's a plane back here too. So I just put that at the top of, you know, seems like a good thing to do. Anyway, I've been doing that the whole time I've been on TikTok. And then when I became partner, after I became partner, at some point, I was like, oh, I should update that slug. I'm going to add Twitch Partner to the front of it. And what wound up happening is I didn't realize, but then it said Twitch Partner Kaiser Von Grauer broadcast live on Twitch at 6.30 p.m. daily. So I said Twitch twice. And they picked that up as like spam, like that I was spamming. So on the first day, they um, they deleted the comment and then they sent me a note that said the comment violated the terms or the, the standards or whatever. And I was like, what? I had no idea. I hadn't figured it out yet. <laughs> so I'm like, that must be a mistake. So I appealed it. And then I, out of habit, I did it again the next day. And then uh, I got... Uh, they stopped, they like, they blocked me from commenting on anything. <laughs> like indefinitely. I was like, oh my God, wait a second. So that's when I finally like read the whole thing. And the only thing that I could think is because I said Twitch twice and they were saying that as spam. Because I think I only sent that out a couple times. I, I don't know how many times I sent that out. But they decided it was spam because I said Twitch in the comment twice. So today I became un unblocked from commenting. And it was like terrible because I didn't know exactly why it happened. Oh, he got fucked, man. Yep, man, you guys gotta teabag him. Right there. <laughs> that was magnificent. <laughs> oh my god. So I got... I got unblocked. And the whole time that I was blocked, I was so frustrated because... People were asking me really cool questions and saying really interesting things and I'm like, I can't respond, it's driving me nuts. Holy shit. And I didn't know how long it was going to last. And they didn't tell me why. I mean, and I didn't really mean it as spam. It was an honest mistake. You know, I'm like, oh, <laughs> uh, but I like my battlefield friends on TikTok, and I couldn't talk to any of them. I couldn't respond. I was like, I didn't know what to do. Like, I, <laughs> I was really fucked up over it. I feel like an asshole. Oh, I just killed Ip Man. He was just standing there on the river. He's probably fishing. 
And, uh, oh man. Me and that guy have a funny history. Because when I first came back over, when I first came over to PC, I would run into that guy, but we would always kill each other in, like, uh, tit for tat in really spectacular ways. Like, he would get me, and I'd be like, oh my god, I can't believe it. And then I would get him, and I'd be like, oh my god, he's thinking I'm coming after him now. And we would go back and forth, back and forth, like, over the course of the round. And that went on, like, whenever we encountered each other for a while. And I was always like, man, I got nothing against this guy, but I just run into him a lot, you know. Oof. I think that might be AA down there, by the way. Whew, let's get the fuck out of there. Hey, there's Moose Lady Dana. How you doing, Moose Lady Dana? <laughs> oh, oh, what's this guy doing? Oh yeah, here we go. Oh, I wish I hadn't have missed. Oh, he's fucked. He is fucked. Strep throat! Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, man. Oh, strep throat's the worst, man. Ah, oh, fuck. I hope you've been to the doctor. Fuck, I hate strep throat. I've had it really bad a couple times, but not in a very long time. Thank God, and knock on wood. Holy shit. Sorry to hear that, moose lady. Oh, yeah. I got the high altitude package. I didn't even have enough time to sing the song. out of here <laughs> fancy boy <laughs> oh man I got the high altitude package oh fuck man I tell you this thing you can't beat this this is the BF 109 G6 with the high altitude package High altitude package only available on 1945 models. <laughs> See that? You just come down from the moon. Oh. You're the man. You're from. You're like the man on the moon, and he's a predator, baby. He's coming for you. They can't even see you up there. It's like an extra 200 meters up. It's all the difference. Here we go. Oh, mama. Woo, look at this guy. He is rootin' tootin'. Uh oh, he might have me. Oh, he might not. <laughs> Nalisa. Oh my goodness gracious. Nalisa just took 14. So the bounty is a hundred, a hundred thousand Odin Boins per Fliegerfaust kill for Nalisa tonight. And the number is at 14. The number is at 14. That's amazing. Nalisa is going to be an Odin Boyne billionaire just from Fliegerfaust kills. Here we go. Look at this tank. Oh. 
Well, that's wacky. I killed the guy on top of the tank for sure. Uh-oh. They're on me. He's on me. Oh, he is not on me. <laughs> oh my god. 15. <laughs> oh my god, no Lisa. Is that guy even positive? Oh my god. Where is he? I think he just Oh, he's 16 and 11. Yeah. Poor bastard. He's getting... <laughs> Nalisa's picking his pockets. She's already pulled out both of his kidneys. <laughs> Sold them. <laughs> Packed them full of water balloons. <laughs> Filled with ice. <laughs> Stitched him back up. And now he's spawning back in another plane. Here we go. Yup. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, there, that's Fliegerfest. Yeah, look at that. Oh yeah, here he comes. Here comes somebody. No, well, no, I don't see him. I'm gonna boost back and I'm gonna grab that fixer. Here we go. Let's see what we got. Where are we at? Oh, 18 and 0. Oh my god. Who do we got down there? Uh oh, look at this guy and the two of them on a tower. That guy was like, spawn on me. <laughs> I'm on I'm on the water tower. Oh, he jumped. Two tickets. Oh, I dinged myself a little bit there. <laughs> oh man, if you don't hit that, you're fucked. And because I keep hitting something up there and then it like bounces me. But when I hit it, I'm moving in a direction. So when I bounce, I'm like, like that. You know what I mean? Like I, so I hit something and I bounce, but I'm, and I go like that. It's real. If I don't hit that thing right there, I'm fucked. You gotta be like, <laughs> gotta like reach right into the camera and. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, man. Oh, man. I like to time it out so that if I make it, it's the end of the round right there. <laughs> oh, man. Moonshine mullets. My blood's pumping, bro. Yeah, I know. GG's, Duck. Nalisa, Abs. Holy shit, you guys. Good games. Well, what do we got? Twisted, uh, no. Panzerstorm. Yeah, uh, we're the German side. Well, I don't know, man. I'm good enough, goddammit. Doll X. Doll X? Really? Doll X? D A H L. You spell it like Steve Dahl. Uh oh, Sketch Hickok just farted and completely shit himself. Well, Sketch, hold on, man. I gotta see if I can get this plane first, dude. Head out to the front yard in the meantime. Can't tell what gets me more, crashing because my game doesn't load fast enough at the start or not being able to leave my spawn. Oh man, who knows? Who knows? It sounds like you gotta get a new rig. <laughs> you need a new computer. You gotta say, it's time! Repeat after me. It's time for a new computer because the one I have is a piece of shit <laughs> there you go now you know what you gotta do just kick that thing over if you got a wife just pour beer down the back of it. <laughs> just pour beer right into it. Just be like, oh my god, honey. I just totally poured beer into my computer. I gotta get a new one. I'll be right back. <laughs> oh my god, yeah, Skitch. Skitch. I'm sorry, man. Abandon ship, dude. Abandon ship. Oh my god. Viewers have farted 24,118 times. You know, I really intended not to forget about you, and then it's almost as if I went out of my way to forget about you. I'm sorry, Skitch. I really... Oh no. No, 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 no. That's over. Abandon ship, Skitch. Oh my goodness. Grab the hose! Woo! Right on, Skitch! Woo oh my god. Absolution is yours, Skitch. Oh my gosh. Attention, we have lost objective Tesa. <laughs> yeah, you know. It's hilarious. Like, ah, uh, it. I worry about some folks. They're going out and they're getting those thirty nineties, and they're they're putting them in like older machines. Like, how do you know that you, like, it'll be able to cool that? You know what I mean? Like, I wonder. Like, my machine will it be able to cool the thirty ninety? Like, will I have to do something else to get it to be stay cool? Like, I don't know. I don't want to just throw a 3090 in there like a fucking log in the fire. <laughs> Be like, ah, uh, you know. Oh, man. Like, I think my machine will be okay, but I don't know. Thoughts on the new battlefield? Oh, yeah, I was talking about it earlier. <laughs> yeah, Skitch. Yeah, thanks, Skitch. <laughs> yeah, I'm excited about it. You know, I'm pastoral about it. I'm downright pastoral. Oh, watch this move. All right. I'm going to go like a letter, a letter C right here. There's the top of the C, and then I'm going to come in like this. There we go. 
There's the bottom of the sea. Actually, it's kind of like a big six. Well. All right, now I don't know what shape it is now. It's like a big... <laughs> I don't know what the fuck that was. Never mind. It was like a, it started out as a letter C. Uh-oh. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. There's two planes on my tail. I'm all right. I got the high altitude package. So he knows it. And there's a plane on his tail. Good job, Objective is ours. Oh, I hit him twice with rockets right there. See, now he's kind of fucked. Oh, I hit him again. He might get to that... Yeah, I'm scissoring out. There we go. I didn't get him. All right, I'm just going to go up. Oh, yeah, he caught me. He caught me going up. Oh, he's fucked. Somebody must have hit him. Oh, I hit him. 31. Oh, I didn't get him. He's got extra armor. And he's got a fixer. Well, there you go. Go over the top. Oh, I hit him, but not both. He's making a run for it. He got him. Yeah. It's about all you can do. He really lucked out because we didn't have any AA back there in a spawn. It's pretty rare. There usually somebody spawns in there. Like a rando will spawn in there. Let's sneak over here and see if we can get him coming out of spawn. Here he is. Don't think he sees me. Maybe he doesn't. Mm, I'm thinking he does by now. Yep. I'm getting the hell out of here. <laughs> Because there's lots of AA over between there and here. So, that's not a risk worth taking. Alright, I think he's coming my way. Yep, he's coming back here. Here we go. I'm gonna move the fight over here. I see him over there. He's right above my head on the screen. He's turning back over right. Here he comes. He's going after that blueberry. Nope. Not gonna bite. Here he I got him. I got him. He's all yours. <laughs> uh oh. Gotta get out of there. That AA is on me. Uh oh. Duck is in an AA tank now. <laughs> Duck's not fucking around anymore. He's like, I am seriously gonna shoot this fucker down. Okay, I see Duck. Duck's just right back in there. I mean, he's. That's perfect. But we gotta watch out for Nalisa over here, cause. She is hanging out there in the breeze. <laughs> All right. They have Charlie, too. That's not good for Nalisa. So let's see. Here we go. Let's hit that transpo. There we go. That'll stop them from rolling right up there, and then they all jump out and start shooting at her. <laughs> All right. 
Now let's start picking off those dudes. So right here, there's Duck, there's Nalisa. If I fly a lot, <laughs> there goes that guy. <laughs> If I fly along that axis, I have the most amount of protection. See, there's Duck, and there's Nalisa, and there's Charlie. So I'm gonna fly off of that axis. And just strike, and then fly back along that axis. See, there they are, there's Nalisa, there's Duck. If anybody slides in there, they're gonna get boned by one of them, or both. So that's like my strong point. So when you're flying, if you're flying with people, make sure you, you know, run along that line of support there. There we go. Oh, nothing. Jesus. That's just a sniper down there. If I would have hit him with rockets, he would have been dead for sure. Oh, mama. Uh-oh. Whoa. That was close. That was really close. That was really close. <laughs> Somebody just went colon bowling at the crack concert. I saw that go by. That's a profound one. Okay, I see a lot of shit going down over here at Charlie. We're looking for planes. Got that guy. I want to come around for another pass, see if I can get another dude. I don't see anybody. Uh-oh. Oh, I think that was a friendly bomber. Uh-oh. I see him. Got him. Here comes a plane. Uh-oh. Here they come. Oh, he booked, man. <laughs> that guy was like, no fucking way. See? I'm flying with intent. I'm, I, like I said, I'm flying along that axis. So I'm thinking about where they are in relation to me at all times, if possible. I mean, so Duck's moving up. He's moving to that spot. He's going to rearm. All right. Not that guy. Let's get the fuck back. Stay low. But see, there's Nalisa. There's Duck. If somebody's on me, they got to fly by both of those guys. So, if you're flying by yourself, you're not talking to anybody, because technically, I'm talking to them, but I can't hear them. If, uh, you know, you're flying by yourself, you know, look around on the ground, see if anybody's running AA. I mean, you can see the icons, and, you know, you generally know where they are, and then orient yourself. Uh-oh. Got him. There's a plane up there. And if if there's nobody out there, if nobody's running anything, just be like, okay. I'm always flying back toward the spawn. I'm always flying to the depot. I'm always going to fly over where AA might be, where the, you know, you just never know. It's all you can do. You never know. Somebody might jump in there and shoot a guy down and you get lucky. Uh-oh. My rockets were out of sync. That was a good thing. But when I fly out of there, I always fly out of there, like, meaning to do something, right? So, when I fly past Nalisa over there, I'm going to get somebody. Otherwise, I'm going to turn around and fly back toward Duck. <laughs> okay, so now they're both in the vaguely the same area there. All right, let's see. I see, yeah, now I'm out of here. I don't really see anybody down there, so 
I'm flying back toward where these guys are. Holy shit, and Elise is up to 17. Alright, a lot of tanks on the other side now. They're... Let's see. Alright, yeah, I've had enough kills that... They're avoiding this side. Just get the hell out of there. There we go. Just kind of ease down out of there. All right. Let's see. I'm looking. Somebody's shooting that Delta. All right, we're going to do one of those crazy goddamn rolls. You ready? Here we go. I don't see anybody. We're out of here. Oh. My wingtip hit the ground there. We have now taken objective out Nalisa, I think we did scare their planes off. I mean, I feel like we scared them off, period. Maybe they're thinking, oh, it's close, and now we gotta take fucking bases. We're gonna surprise this dude, though. Ass face. See that guy down there? <laughs> to the combat area. Yeah. I got the high altitude package. There he is. Oh, I didn't make it through. Oh, I did make it through. I don't think he knows. I'm back here. There you go. It's over. They just got completely cornholed. Plus, I'm going to hit this tank. Hubris. Hubris! There's another plane up. I see a tank. I'm gonna fix. Way up over their own spawn. Sheesh. See, this is where, like, I'm just baked enough to be like, I uh, start to believe that it's my own spawn. There were no survivors. All right. Uh-oh. I think he's in front of me. Ooh. Well, that was a nice going away present. Can't say I didn't earn it. There you go. <laughs> there you go. That's what happens. Okay, now well, we're all charged up again. And they have Foxtrot, so let's take a look at Foxtrot. We got two tanks rolling in there, so things will be nice and confused. Oh, I don't see anybody though. Yeah, we're taking Foxtrot. Okay, I'm looking at Duck and Nalisa. We don't have Charlie. No, we do have Charlie. 
We're losing golf. Friendly plane near me. I'm going to hunt the Wumpus. Here we go. Oh, there's AA right way back in their spawn right there. There's a mobile AA back there. I'm getting out of here. Uh-oh. What the fuck is this? The fuck is this? Whoa, look at this guy. Nope. Good luck. I got the high altitude package. Oh, yeah. Oh, I know you like that. You like that, don't you? You love it. That's why you came back here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh oh, what's this guy doing? Come to butthead. Oh, you still don't have the high altitude package, huh? He's flying right toward you, Nalisa. Yeah, Nalisa got him. Look at that one. Oh my God. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Unbelievable. Holy shit. All right, here we go. That was awesome. See, he realized, he's like, okay, I can't, I'm not going to be able to get this guy. I remember what just happened to me. And then he immediately turned right above Nalisa and turned like back over where she is. It was perfect. Like, that was like a fastball down the middle. He's got a gunner. Oh, it's that Ip Man guy again. Well, he just got worked over. His plane's going in oddball direction. Look at that. Oh, that's too bad. <laughs> well, I always I always say better him than me. We have taken objective Dora. Stefan, I always tell people, uh, figure out the controls, do the controls that you're most comfortable with, spend some time on the range to figure out intuitive controls for you. Then, once you get that figured out, it's a matter of time. You have to spend lots of time flying. But the first thing that you would do is you would unlock all your specializations and all the planes. Because until you do that, you are at a huge disadvantage against everyone. Believe me, a huge disadvantage. It's almost not fair for noobs because they're at such a disadvantage. Like, look at this guy. I'm still gonna fuck you. If I don't, that guy is. <laughs> Look, he's dead. Oh, I think that's a different guy. Oh, I don't think he's dead yet. 
Oh, he sure is trying hard, though. Oh! I'm gonna give him a little barrel roll there. Honestly, that makes other pilots feel a lot better. You know, when you, when you kill them. Like, you know how infantry, when uh, one infantry person kills a, an infantry guy on the other team, sometimes the guy that kills a guy will, will go up and down like this, you know? It's kind of like a, uh, I hope you feel better, man. I hope you feel better, man. Hope you feel better, man. You know. Hey, hey, I hope you feel better, man. <laughs> well, the barrel roll is kind of like that for pilots, you know? It's like, hey, oh. I hope you feel better, dude. Ah, uh, hope you feel better. Hope you feel better. A little barrel roll. <laughs> it's funny, man. Like, if he would just equip the high altitude package, he could get up there. Uh, one of the planes has it. Two of the planes have it on that team. I know, because I run it. I'm not just... I'm not just the owner. I'm a client. <laughs> I'm not just what does he say I'm not just president I'm a client it was like a hair club for men or something like that look at this guy yeah he's coming at me now I fart in your general direction I still have the high altitude package oh man there he goes he's really flying Oh, yeah. I keep killing that guy. Throck 85 or something. Kind of caught me a little bit. There's a plane upright. If he comes around, he could be a problem. But I am going to get a fixer in. I'm going to hit my boost and go straight up. Oh, that guy got fucked. <laughs> ah, poor bastard. Yeah. I ever get stream snipers? I do. Yeah, I get a lot of folks that'll like hang out on the AA. That tends to be a thing. Uh, sometimes it's like um, you think you got sne stream snipers, but it's just a shitty coincidence. So it's tough not to think that it might be, but. And I don't know, maybe I get them all the time. I have no idea. But, you know, I don't know. <laughs> How will I ever frickin' know for sure, right? What are you gonna do? Every once in a while, I'll get somebody that'll come in and be like, That was me! And they're like, on an AA on the other team. And they're like, I just killed you, that was me! And I usually ban those guys. I'm like, Pff. You know, it... Just because... Imagine a guy walks into a bar on a Saturday night. He walks into the bar, the bar's crowded, it's hopping, everybody's having a whooping it up time. Guy walks into the bar and he goes, I'm an asshole! I just got kicked out of the bar down the street! I'm an asshole! <laughs> so you just throw him right out of the bar. Browsy has joined the officer's club. Hey, Browsy. That's what those people are like, Browsy. Thanks for joining the officer's club. You get the officer's club pipe. They come in, they're like, That was me! I just kicked your ass! Well, thanks. <laughs> you're an idiot. There's a if you're smart enough to do that, you're smart enough to get my attention in better ways. <laughs> Honestly, it's crazy. Uh-oh. 
Here he comes. Oh, he got immediately fucked. That's that same guy. Where is he on there? He's 17 and 8. That one guy is 17 and 8. There's that Throck guy. He's 2 and 8. Oh my god. Unbelievable. That was a crazy night, you guys. Holy shit. As you can see, I'm really devastated by losing this match. Woe is me. Too bad. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to go soak my balls. That's what I'm going to do. <laughs> That's why we can't have 11 year olds around here. They'll be like, why do you want to soak your balls? <laughs> <laughs> oh god gg is nalisa gg is duck gg is this guy oh man whoever that is gg is abs i know abs was in here tonight thanks everybody who played tonight you guys gg is ip man gg is throck thanks for letting me shoot you down like a million times oh that's gonna be it for me for tonight you guys i have to jump off i know i know it's a it's a it's a pro Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Scan the QR code to learn about the new community. Why do I have to scan a code? Why can't you just show me here? <laughs> Knuckleheads. <laughs> you got me right here. Duh. Duh. GG's Kronos. GG's Sketch. GG's Francois. No, no Provence for me for tonight. I'm pooped, man. I know. I'm really pooped. Adults only ball soaking. The 11 year olds don't need to soak their balls. <laughs> they don't need to be doing that. Can you imagine a house with a bunch of 11 year olds soaking their balls? I, I don't want to be a part of that reality. <laughs> you give them too much knowledge and then they'll turn it into real power. And then the next thing you know, we're all fucked. So don't, we can't have the 11 year olds finding out about soaking their goddamn balls. I know, Patch. Ah, I'm a grumpy old man. Everything is scanned a bloody QR code nowadays. I mean, why can't they just fuck off? <laughs> what am I, a jackass? Why can't you just show me a little clip? I'm right fucking here. Look, they got this. News. What do they got in the news? Nothing. They don't have anything in here about the new battlefield. What kind of fucking news is this? Look at this. Look at this news. This is dumb. This is from August 27th, 2019. What is this? <laughs> Don't forget, Nalisa is 1.9 million in boins. Holy shit. Nalisa finished off with 19 Fliegerfaust kills. Nalisa. 19, 1.9 million Odin boins. What do you think, Nalisa? 1.9 million Odin boys. Should anybody else share in the pot tonight? <laughs> News. They should rename this Bail. <laughs> uh oh, there we go. Duck and abs? Oh boy, duck and abs. Okay, duck and abs. It is done. Nalisa, duck and abs. All earned 1.9 million Odin Boins each this evening. Kick ass for shooting down planes with Fliegerfausts. Like the demons they are. I wish there was a way Chad could earn Boins. Oh, I know, Skitch. Well, we'll figure something out. <laughs> we gotta give... I mean, we have a big umbrella here that we have to accommodate, so... There's a lot of stuff going on. And a lot of figuring out of shit. <laughs> oh my goodness. Alright, you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in tonight. I say we raid somebody. Who did we raid last night? Who was it? Who was out there? Oh, I gotta hit this button first. Hold on. I gotta say raid channel and see if it works. 
Okay. So, okay. This is what we've got. All of my usual people, none of them are playing Battlefield 5. Okay, that's cool. All right, let's see what do we got. I like to see somebody playing Battlefield 5 out here. And, oh, should we raid Amaranth? <laughs> Amaranth is out there licking uh, an ear thing. That's cool. Boy, that would be fun. All right, let's see, Battlefield 5. we have here uh there's this guy there's this guy uh well i'm looking at people that have cameras i'm judging books by covers if they have something stupidly attractive to me in their names or in the names of the stream some sometimes this is it all right <laughs> This is definitely the guy. Oh, no. All right. So this guy over here. Let's see what's going on. This is awesome. This is what I'm talking about. Having a catchy stream name goes a long way sometimes. So this is the title of his name. So he's got a camera. The guy's got a camera. And he's playing Battlefield Five. And he's got uh, the name of the stream is something that's catching my eye. Okay. If it says, hi, Kaiser Von Grauer, that helps. But this, the name of his stream says Saturday Night Fever, and that's enough for me. We're going to raid this, or Dude Mark. We're going to raid Dude Mark. All right. Let's raid Dude Mark. I will see you guys tomorrow. Thanks, Sam's, for playing tonight. You guys are magnificent. See you guys tomorrow. Until then, be good to each other. Be good to yourselves. Oh, you'll get the shot. <laughs> Don't worry. Just go get it. And uh, we'll be back here tomorrow night, 6.30 p.m. Pacific. In the meantime, let's go raid Dude Mark. See what's going on over here. It's Saturday Night Fever. Catch you guys tomorrow. Good night, everybody. 35 seconds and counting. We are still go with Apollo 11. 30 seconds and counting. Astronauts report it feels good. T-minus 25 seconds. 20 seconds and counting. T minus 15 seconds. Guidance is internal. 12, 11, 10, 9. Ignition sequence start. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. All engine running. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. 32 minutes past the hour. Liftoff on Apollo 11. Tower cleared. Okay, we got a roll program. Neil Armstrong reporting the roll and pitch program, which puts Apollo 11 on a proper heading.